Hi, and welcome to Bible Practice again. My name is Mike, and uh, we got so it's about 10.07 tonight. I already got in and uh, had to take care of a couple items, but I wanted to take time, as I do each day, uh, as much time as possible and give it to the Lord. So uh, he's been with me all day working, and I put this up to on the Internet to inspire others to uh, take time from their lives and give it to the Lord right from the beginning of your morning to uh, to into the evening. Um, so I don't know how much time uh, how much time did you give the Lord today? I mean, you know, might have said a prayer here and there, maybe uh, but did you talk to him at different situations that were occurring in your life? Um, it was interesting for uh, this thing I read, book, book I read from today's reading, talks about that issue that when the world and our problems crowd in on us, that's when we need to leave them and go spend time with the Lord. Now, that's easy said and hard to do because we feel we need to take care of the problems. And uh, we're born, we're raised that way from birth. Our parents raised us that way, and um, instinct, I think, tells us that that's what we're supposed to do. But in reality, <clears throat> what we're really supposed to do is what the Lord says. And he just a little bit of this. It says, "You are feeling weighed down by a plethora of problems, both big and small." And that happens in each of our lives. They seem to require more and more of your attention. But you must not give in to those demands. The Lord is saying, don't give in to the demands of those problems. And we do. But we have to practice not doing that. I've got to practice it. You have to practice it. Um, when the, these difficulties come... And they feel as though they're closing in on you. Break free and spend quality time with me. Again, all these readings from this book throughout the Bible, it's about taking time out of your life. And, you know, the time in your life today, and mine and everyone else that's alive on the earth today, the time that they have today was given to them by God. It's a gift. People don't look at it that way, but it is. It's a gift. And um, by taking time and spending it with the Lord, you're you're giving the Lord, you're returning his gift with gratitude and practicing what the Bible tells us to do. As we can read the Bible and study it, but if we don't, act on the instructions and the knowledge and we've done nothing so you have to act on it so that's why I try to do this each and every day and you know I've missed one day there the world I let the world's problems creep in and take take charge of my life and the Lord says right in this one don't do that did I make a mistake yeah can I stop from making that mistake? Yeah. Why? I got to practice it. So, the mistake once you've learned it and made it a part of your your soul and your existence, you won't make it anymore because it's part of your life. That's how you live your life. That's how you act. That's how you are. You become that by listening to what the Bible and the Lord is telling us. The Lord is the great teacher. So go to him. He will take care of your problems. The ones that don't seem to get fixed, he doesn't want them fixed. Because if he did, they'd be fixed instantaneously. Or within his holiday time, he wants it fixed. So you just have to spend time with him. Giving me problems. 
I've said this before and I'll keep saying it for as long as I have breath to say it. That's what we all need to do. And uh, <laughs> again, I'll say, <laughs> easy said, hard to do. And it is. So I had a great day. A um, little tired. I work uh, hard with the Lord. Sometimes I, re I probably work too much, and he doesn't really want me to work that much. But um, he still stays with me even through the bad choices I might make and uh, protects me in many, many ways. I have to say thank you throughout a day for all the different protections. And I get to feel those protections as they are happening. So it's, it's a great blessing. It's, it's just... You can tell people that if they don't experience it, and then they wouldn't know what you're talking about. They won't. They have to experience it. And the only one that can give them that is the Lord and Savior Jesus. So I pray for everybody to receive His Spirit and turn to Him for everything. He will take care of you. <laughs> he loves us, folks. <laughs> Unconditional. It's just pure love. So, wonderful, wonderful. In the trailer, when the spirit came in the trailer, I, I was crying pretty uncontrollably, but it wasn't tears of fear or, or anger or sorrow. Just total cheer, tears of relief. My soul had been allowed to be found by God or chosen by God. Maybe you want to call it just frees you. And you go on your rest of your life just saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you want everyone to experience that. But it's God's choice. And that's good. Because <laughs> if it was our choice, we'd probably mess it up. I say. All right, I'll be back tomorrow, God willing. Have a great night, and uh, remember, who's watching over you tonight and planning your day for tomorrow, the Lord and Savior Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Peace, brothers.